Are you headed to Maine and you're looking for a place to park your RV to go out exploring? I've got a place for you that's going to make you very hoppy. And I'll tell you what I mean in this episode of Travels with Delaney. Welcome back, everyone. My name's Patrick, and if this is your first time here at Travels with Delaney, welcome. We're your channel all about RVing and living life to the fullest. So today I'm here in Booth Bay, Maine, and I'm at the Booth Bay Craft Brewery, which just also happens to have an RV park. Now, it's part of the Harvest Host program, but even if you're not a Harvest Host member, you can stay here for a nightly fee as they actually have campsites that have either electric and water or full hookup and they have both back in and they have pull throughs so right now here at the rv park we have everything from a teardrop trailer to class a motor home so i'm actually trying one of their signature beers it's the booth bay 633 and mm, it's really tasty they have lots of different beers to choose from whether you want something kind of light more traditional to darker beers to ipas so you have lots of choices. The other thing is they offer these amazing pizzas that you can get. And last night we had this awesome pizza. And in addition, they offer some desserts and they have some appetizers. So you can just hang out either inside or outside enjoying their amazing beer and wonderful food. In addition to great beer here at the brewery, again, they have 13 RV sites as well as spaces for Harvest Host members. Now, again, the sites vary from back-in water electric, back-in full hookup, and even pull-through hookup. They also have a dump station if you're in one of the water electric sites. They have complimentary Wi-Fi, and you can even buy firewood here. So everything you need, all the sites have a picnic table and a fire ring it makes the perfect place to camp as a home base to go out exploring the Booth Bay Harbor area. Oh yeah, did I forget to mention, in addition to getting your firewood, you can also get your farm fresh eggs from their chickens that they have here at the brewery. So everyone, I am here with Riley, one of the owners of this amazing location. Riley, you wanna tell us a little bit about the campground and what you've got going on here, maybe the history. How did you get to this point? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we bought the property, well my parents bought the property in 2006 and uh, we ran it as a, a small little cottage resort uh, and that's kind of the way it had been set up from the, from the 60s and even a little bit earlier than that. And then in 2014, um, our family's always been an RVing family, we, uh, we took out some of, the, some of the cottages and started adding uh, full hookup pull through sites. And last year, uh, when when COVID hit, we uh, we couldn't get any of the help that we usually get um, to clean the cottages. So we decided to go all out on the, the RV thing, and it really paid off last year. We, we currently have 11 uh, sites. Uh, all but two of them are, are full hookups, and we plan on expanding to uh, to be a, a small destination. But we uh, we have a brewery on site, and, and we'll talk more about that a little bit later. Um, but yeah, we, uh, we, we love, we love our viewers and the transition has been very smooth. So you're also a member of Harvest Host, correct? Yes, sir. Uh, the, the brewery has been a, a Harvest Host location since 2013. Uh, we were actually the first brewery on Harvest Host ever, uh, back when the Greens owned it. And I found out about that program, uh, when I was full-timing in a, a fifth wheel that I had in South Carolina. And uh, we, we love the program. We've brought hundreds, if not thousands of members to the peninsula and we'll, we'll always be, a, be a, a host location. We actively use our, our membership in the off season because as a host, you automatically get right. a membership. So we, we visit dozens of, of other hosts in the off season when we travel. I think that's one of the things I love about you is the fact that not only do you have the campground, this amazing brewery, but you're an RVer yourself, so you kind of get what we as RVers need, and so you really understand it, and that, I think that's what makes this place extra special. Yeah, we have uh, we grew up RVing. Uh, my parents took us tent camping, and then we had a pop-up, and then we had a truck camper, and then we had a fifth wheel, and uh, my parents currently have a Class C, and I, and I have a, a truck camper which happens to be a new camp Cirrus truck camper. 
So the brewery itself, you want to tell us a little bit about how did your family get into making beer? So my my dad is always my parents really have always been entrepreneurs, but my dad, you know, was like, "Hey, how can I make beer for my buddies?" And that was probably in 2006, 2007, right about when we okay. when we bought this place. And uh, so he he was kind of brewing in the in the garage and in the basement, and uh, he came up with a couple of couple of really awesome recipes. And uh, that was that was kind of the whole reason why we bought this property is we're on we're on public utilities, so we have basically unlimited water and unlimited unlimited waste disposal. Um, so we uh, we laid the foundation in 2009 and uh, released our first commercial commercial beer in 2010, and now we distribute through the entire state of Maine, uh, both wholesale and retail. What's your number one beer or the one that people? If they come here, you're like, this is the one most people try. Uh, our most popular beer is Thirsty Botanist. It's a it's a juicy IPA, a New England style juicy IPA, and it is, I mean, they canned uh, probably five pallets of it today. Wow. That'll go out on a truck uh, next Tuesday. Okay. And then six three three. I love the story of six three three. How did you come up with the name six three three? So that is the beer that started it all. Okay. Um, that beer was founded in our, it's a it's a, a North American lager, and that beer was founded in our garage. Cool. And when my dad tested the alcohol content behind it, it was 6.33%. And that just also happens to be, if you call a landline on the Bruce Bay Peninsula, it's 633 and then the next four digits. That's, so that's crazy. It kind of just worked. And it, we've stuck with it, and it, it's always it's always been 6.33 percent, and you can you can buy it anywhere in Maine now. And this is a, this is truly a family affair as far as the operation, correct? Absolutely. My uh, my parents bought the property. Obviously, they 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 make sure everything stays solvent month to month. But my brother and I we run the the day to day operations. I run the campground. My brother running around uh he runs the the brewery and the and the tavern and uh he's he's gonna be coming over here in just a second but um yeah cody's running around here crazy tonight i mean this place is super busy and i can tell you the reason why the beers are amazing the food's amazing and the people are amazing so his his girlfriend works for us my girlfriend works for us well my fiance works for us right um so yeah it's always we always consider everyone that works for us a work family this is my younger brother Cody. We um, we're only about 13 months apart, a little, little more than that. But um, yeah, he, he runs the brewery side of things and and manages the taverns day to day operations. Well, you're doing a great job because I tell you what, we we have had so much fun here in the last 24 hours. Food's amazing, beer is obviously amazing. So, well, tell us a little bit about your product. And well, we have a ton of fun spread out over the decade. Talking <laughs> about, right. I'm not sure exactly what Riley covered, but. Um, you know, our whole thing uh, with this is, is craft beers with a story. That's kind of our motto. Okay. Uh, and basically everything we do, whether it's from like our 633 Pale Ale, that's our flagship. We started that. We were brewing that in a bathtub, I mean, 10, 12 years ago that's as awesome. an experimental brew, and it eventually led to our, our main. Um, so really what, what we try to do is, is tell a story with everything we produce. Um, to give you an example. Um, Thirsty Botanist is our top selling IPA okay. right now. That's sold all around the state of Maine. We brewed that in collaboration with the Coastal Maine Botanical Gardens. And it was all about, um, you know, botany, uh, you know, homegrown herbs, you know, and, and incorporating that into a recipe that's local and authentic and flavorful and bountiful. Something really um, beautiful in this beer beyond just a bunch of hops. So right. that's a fun story with that. Um, and that's, um, Great tropical floral notes, all kinds of just delicious hot bomb going on with that. Uh, a really, really fun one of ours uh, that's kind of like a little hidden secret is uh, Cryptos, our double IPA. Okay. Uh, this is actually a real treasure hunt, like like, like a statewide treasure hunt. I'm okay. Not kidding. On the surface, it looks like all the labels are the same if you buy a four pack, right. but there are eight different variations of this label that you cannot tell from the surface. Okay. And all of them have different clues hidden amongst the label. 
All you have to do to get started is you scan the QR code. It takes you to a hidden page on our website. And through that, you actually have to travel all along the mid-coast and there are hidden clues in real places, whether you have to go to a, a, a land preserve, hike all the way through it, sit on a bench, look in a particular place, I won't tell you exactly where. Okay. <laughs> There's a clue hidden there, you plug it in and it takes you to the next step. Oh, cool. And uh, so it's, it, it really I... is the epitome of a great beer, if you think about it. Yeah. <laughs> so cryptos means hidden, um, kind of elusive clues, you yeah. know, hidden concealed meanings. That's definitely more than just a beer. I mean, that, that <laughs> yeah. really is a story yeah, absolutely. and an adventure. Awesome. Absolutely. So we love playing with those kind of things. We okay. have like, uh, there's pig pen ciphers involved in all this. It goes way back. Uh, I don't know if you've gotten shots of the inside, but the tavern uh, was built um, as a community collaborative, as a true, you know, underground tavern. Right. Uh, we called the project Beans to Brewery where um, the, the, the building was built out of at least over over 300 um, hand milled, hand um, you know, cut and right. sawed, uh, tongue and groove, all mm -hmm. handmade, over 300 beams. And uh, the, it came from, every beam came from like a family member or a brother and sister brewery. Okay. And so everyone has like a name on a beam in there. Oh, that's awesome. So that was kind yeah, of was the perfect. beginning of our like true craft beers with a story. Right. Another fun one is a collaboration with Dogfish Head Brewery called Osprey, which is really fun. Uh, uh, the Osprey is an indigenous species of here as well as down in Delaware where um, dogfish is. And that was this was a collaboration we did with them. It's kind of like an undefined ale. We call it uh, a strawberry rhubarb pie because it had honey, rhubarb, strawberry, and, and um, oh, what else did I put? Cranberries. <laughs> I forgot about it. <laughs> So having a lot of fun with a lot of this. We stuff. tried that one last night. It's one, we actually have tried several of your beers while we're cool. here. We haven't got to all of them yet, but yeah, it's a great beer. Yeah, so we. And, yeah. and I love the story behind the so collaboration. Much. Yes. Uh, yeah, we've been longtime family friends with the Kalajani family. Um, the name came from right down here in in uh, in on this peninsula, okay. sort of where we grew up. Yeah. About a couple miles down the road, Dogfish Head Point is an actual little island for dog beer. Okay. And they. Um, they're just great people. Small world when we talk about that. So that's cool. the beer. I mean, that, okay. you know, we've got a few others, but yeah. You know, so it's truly a passion then for the family. I mean, this isn't just a business. I mean, obviously you operate as a business, but I can tell just talking to both of you, it's so much more than beer and camping. It's, yeah. I mean, it's when we um, when we greet people, you know, we we introduce sort of our uh, like the menu and and we kind of. We, we become friends with them right off the bat, at right around, around the corner, and we show them, you know, kind of how our whole theme is. But we leave them on the note uh, uh, when they go and they find their home in the beer garden or in inside. We are like, let the let the brewery vibe wash over you. This is a this is a really, um, sus you know, it's a suspending place. It, it's it's a really unique place to find peace and to find interesting stories and interesting people, of course. That was the whole goal of this, was to find the true original meaning of a kind of a tavern um, community vibe. Well, you guys have definitely done it. Like, I mean, last night we set outside, that was one vibe. Tonight we were setting inside, and you just feel like you're, I don't know, we just felt like family ever since we've arrived. From yeah. the, literally from the minute we pulled in with our RV, and your dad met us, and he says, you must be the McCormick's to just the whole experience here. And I can tell watching your, everybody that works here with all of your guests that it just, you know, you make people feel at home, so. It's it, awesome. It, it takes a community, it takes, uh, you know, it takes a tribe to make that happen. Yeah. It's not just us, it's you as well, so. Well, thank you again so much. Appreciate you, uh, you so like much. I said, Appreciate hosting you. us and taking some time out to share with our viewers all about what you guys do here. So again, I'm gonna put the link down below in the description for this video so you can check out the brewery, make your reservations, and I cannot wait till we can get back up here in Maine uh, to hang out with you guys again. So thank you so much. Thank you. Really appreciate you so it. Much. Until next time, everybody, we'll see you on down the road. Let's drink some beer. <laughs>